Hi, 788A. This week we are going to continue working in algebra uh, with equations and we're going to start to simplify them. So I just want to go back to last week where we learned about the parts of the equation and review that for a minute. So remember we have a variable which is the symbol for a number that we don't know yet. So in this equation 3x minus 6 equals 9 our variable is x because we don't know the value of x right now. The constant is the number that's on its own and we can see that in this equation the 6 and the 9 are constants because they're by themselves. And the coefficient is a number used to multiply or divide a variable. So the coefficient is always right in front of the variable. Okay? So we're going to look at adding algebraic equations. Actually, let me show you one more thing first. It's important that we group like terms. I hope you can hear me over that paper noise. So last week we also worked on this chart where we were grouping like terms. So for instance, all of the terms that have the variable c, we circled. So 5c, 9c, 14c, 3c, and c, or 1c, and, and so on for all of the others. So it's important that we are able to group the like terms. So whatever has the same variable with the same exponent. In this case, 4x, that means exponent 1. So if there was 4x squared, we would group that separate because the exponent is different. Okay. Now let's look at simplifying algebraic expressions, but adding them. It's just simple addition. For question one, b plus b. Well, how many b's are there? There's 1b plus 2b. So how many b's are we left with? We have two b's. So 1b plus 1b or b plus b equals 2b. Now try number two on your own h plus h plus h plus h. How many h's are there? How many h's are we adding together? 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Four h. Brilliant. Pretty simple stuff, right? It's just addition that's got some letters added into it. Number three, we're starting with 2p and adding 6 more p to it. So what's 2p plus 6p, or 2 plus 6? Good. 8p. Yes, things will get a little more complicated, but if you remember to group your like terms, you should be fine. In this case, we have 7x plus 3g plus x plus 5g. So, you can rearrange the question so it says 7x plus x plus 3g plus 5g, then you've put your like terms together, or you can just look at them and add them. So you can see that 7x is first, but you have another x here. So what's 7x plus 1x? Eight x. And then we still have the g's left. We have 3g plus 5g. So if you add 3g and 5g together, you get what? 
8G. Brilliant. So as long as you're grouping your like terms together, you'll be fine. Number five, C squared plus C squared plus C squared. Even though there's an exponent on each of these, we still do the same thing. They're still like terms, so we're going to add them together. How many C squareds do we have? One, two, three. So our answer is going to be 3c squared. And number 6, jk plus 2jk is how many jk? I've got 1jk, I've got 2jk, put them together, I've got 3jk. Beautiful. Any questions? Email me, text me, write them in classroom. No problem. Okay, so that's how we simplify and add algebraic, algebraic expressions. We're going to do the same thing now, but subtract. And actually, that's going to be a different video. So I'll see you in a few minutes.